What's up, YouTube? This is for the Dolby renderer, renderer um, people out there, people that are that are attempting to mix in Atmos. A really easy way to do that is with AirPods. You see a lot of videos on it, so if you're just getting into it, but technology it comes with with issues. And one of the issues we were having as we were checking these AirPods was this. And this just started happening. I don't know if it was an update, but if you're getting this error message, hopefully I can help you resolve it until there's an update for the software. But when I go into the renderer and I choose my preferences for my audio output, if I have it set to these and I hit accept, which is my ear pods, I hit accept, it says audio driver error. And actually what came up on the screen is it says buffer size 512, it does not support that. So that's a bummer. So now all this awesome stuff I purchased, now I can't even use it, you know? And I'm going, okay, I, I can use my speakers, I can do all that, but but I just wanna hear it in this. So we were sitting here, I was with a uh, an artist that I work with, shout out to Anthony from Recess. Um, he has some pretty awesome music, so go check that out if you get a chance. And we were sitting here wanting to check out his mix and start to put it in Atmos. So he was comfortable with the AirPods. So let me show you the workaround. Now the workaround is this. I have to find a way to, I would say, I, I don't wanna say trick, but I gotta find a way to build an input output that this renderer can see and it's not, it's not dependent on the buffer size of the actual audio device in the AirPods. So what I'm gonna do, and I'll show you how this works, is I purchased the plugin a while back and I thought, man, this might just work because Pro Tools Agri did, get, didn't work, there's multi-output device didn't work. So I was like, man, we gotta get this to work. So there was a plugin I bought from the company Sonics, which makes the Oxford EQs, Oxford Inflator, and they've been creating some new plugins and I looked at it and I said, dude, maybe if I open it up in there. So this is what I did. So this is my workaround. And, and hopefully if you're out there, it helps you if you're, if you're mixing an Atmos in your ear pods and you've got that error message. So I go to Sonic's Listen Hub. And when I double click on that, it opens up and it's like a global plugin over my whole system. And what this plugin allows me to do, and I know this isn't what the video is about, but I'll give you a rundown. It lets me like, Check out just the sub, the low, the low, mid, the mid, high, the high. It's almost like a monitor controller on your system, which is really cool. And then you can have three different input sources. So those inputs could be from Apple Music, they could be from Pro Tools, they could be from a different DAW, whatever. And then you can match the loudness and you can check stuff. So that's the cool part about it. But what's really cool is it actually solved a really bad problem for mixing an Atmos with an error message with my AirPods. So what I did, to get this to work and you know grand finale after all my talking is I went in and I created um, a multi mono now that's in another video so if you want to check that out it's using multiple airpods check that out but in this case we can just choose my airpod pros within the listen hub which is which sort of doesn't make sense but it really fixes the issue could you try again so with that being said, I'm gonna go to this, I'm gonna go to preferences, and then I'm gonna choose uh, Sonic's Listen Hub as my main interface. I hit accept, and now I can use my ear pods. I don't know, I learned that, it was just one of those flute things or I was like, you know, let me think about this. And now, for the time being, you know, it's 2023, um, it's July 10th or 11th. So if you're around that area, around that time, and you're going, dude, this ain't working, hopefully this video helps you guys. Um, now I can just push play and I can listen to my ear pods through the render. Um, so if you have that error message, this is a very affordable way to fix it. Cause like, let me look at that plugin. Um, Sonics Listen Hub. So buy, try, let's see what it is. They're on sale right now, so go pick that thing up. So go get you the plugin, and that is a good workaround. There's probably other ways to work around, but this was just one that helped us get going um, when we were mixing.
So hopefully this helps you guys. And I'm going to keep, I got a lot of cool videos coming out. So finally. So we'll see you.